Good evening and welcome to the new edition of Bahrain Today, which covers various topics, latest news and the events of the kingdom. I am Fatma al Bastigi, and this is Bahrain Today. Today we have a special episode dedicated to our talented Bahraini youth. The island is filled with many young artists who are thriving out there to make their dreams come true. And this is not new to us because this is actually how we roll in Bahrain. It is the land of hope. Before I take you to our special guest artists, let's have a look at this report to be inspired. Siddiq Al Ansari is a professional makeup artist who put her mark on the drama and theater industry. She participated in several series such as Ten Sins, Fafash, and films like Al Misbah by Ahmed Sharif. This year we have two workshops. Uh, the first one is a special effects workshop, uh, which has been held uh, since five years. And uh, we are taking around 20 to 30 students uh, every year. We are teaching the special effects uh, tips and basics. Uh, they are learning how to make uh, the cuts, burns, and uh, how to apply the makeup which is suitable for, for the theater and for the, uh, in front of the camera, which suits the lighting of the uh, dramas and uh, even for films or whatever. There are students benefiting from Siddiqa every year. She teaches them how to form their own business in makeup. The other workshop is the beauty makeup workshop, uh, which is uh, today's workshop. And in this workshop also we are taking almost 25 to 30 students. Uh, they are learning the basics of the beauty makeups, uh, which helps them uh, to start their own uh, business in future. Makeup is not a mask. Makeup is an art, a passion and an expression. This was really inspiring and today we have Reem Haji, a young makeup artist known for her hard work in the theatre and drama industry. Reem, how are you and welcome to the studio. Hi, I'm feeling wonderful. I really enjoyed our talk off air and where yeah. we talked about your passion for makeup. Can you tell me when did you start working with makeup? Well, back in 2015 I started makeup. Uh, a friend of mine, my best friend actually, her name is Lena, she sent me a link of a famous makeup artist on YouTube. He's called Pink Stylist. Mm -hmm. She was like, hey, check out his work. His work is really nice. So I checked it out and I was like, wow, I'm amazed I'm by inspired. his work. I'm inspired. I yes. need to do this. Yes, exactly. And that's when I started doing face painting and special effects. So um, we talked about, you know, being born with this talent. Were you born with it or did you have to study? Actually, I was born with the talent of drawing. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was young, I used to draw. And like since I was five or four or three, that's all I can remember. Mm -hmm. That I used to draw cartoons, anime characters, whatsoever. That's all I could think of. That's amazing. Yeah. And how, can, how long does a person actually need to master such a skill? Some people, it depends on the person. Like mm -hmm. some people, they take only two years, one year. For me, it, it took me around Five years. Oh wow! Like so far, that's I don't, a commitment. Yeah, so far I don't think I'm the master, but I'm still trying to reach that level. So, do you think anyone yeah. could um, could go for this? Do you think I could go for this one day? Yes, <laughs> if you have the passion. No, not really. <laughs> well, I'm really, I'm not really into you know drawing and holding the the brushes. And what's the difference between the day-to-day -day bridal makeup and mm -hmm. the theater style makeup? I mean, this is something new. Well, with theater makeup, what we tend to do is to do the makeup like heavily, way much heavier than the bridal makeup. The bridal makeup is heavy, yes, but the theater makeup is 10 times heavier because, you know, there will be audience, there will be many people watching the actors and the actresses. So, if they want to see the makeup, 
you have to do it 10 times more, 10 times heavier, so they can see it from a distance. Unlike bridal makeup and beauty makeup. Yeah. yeah. And where did you, when did you decide to turn this hobby you know, into a career, actually? Mm, maybe I can say that maybe in 2017. Mm -hmm. At first, in 2015, it wasn't a career. It was just more like a hobby since I was in school. I was just doing it for fun. It's a fun activity. Of course. Yeah. But then I took it seriously once, like, on the last year of school. That's, that's really amazing. Yeah. And I believe we're going to see this talent today. Inshallah. You have, you have a model with you. Yes. Who we're going to do um, theater style makeup. And what's the theme for today? Uh, well, you got to wait to see it. OK, that's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> uh, we move on, of course, to our model. And uh, in meanwhile, let's go to the next segment of our show. We have great stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back. As I said, today's episode is special. We have a different story to tell now, a story about love and music. Najma Bouhalla is a theater actress who was noticed by many directors to have an amazing singing voice. She was given the opportunity to perform on stage by many directors. But it was only until Najma met the love of her life, now her husband, the guitarist Mohamed Sardoun, who encouraged her to pursue her singing talent as a career. So together with Mohamed Al-Amir, they decided to form a band called solo band which will be performing today in our studios hi guys hi Hello. welcome to our studio thank you thank you so nice much to be here. thank you so much so Nedma, we'll start with you yes. tell me more about your singing when did it start yeah i started noticing that i had a nice voice once um, since i was a kid but i never took myself seriously i thought that like you know it's just like any other kid you know i wasn't encouraged by parents or anyone but then like seven years ago when i joined the theater and some directors asked me to sing live as part of the play. That's when I got so encouraged. And then I thought, maybe I should like give some time to this. Let focus me focus more on, on singing. On than singing acting. Besides acting. And then uh, like um, I, I just posted a broadcast and on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And I was asking people who would like to sing Despacito with me. Mm -hmm. And that's when my husband Muhammad, he just like replied back and he said, I'll do it with you. Then we met, we got together in a studio, we fell in love, we got married, and then yeah, he said, the we should do this. That. <laughs> that, that, that's the shortcut for this. Yeah, I know. But you're going to tell me the long version in okay. details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to come to that. Yeah. So, so we started this together like two years. Um, two years and we've been doing this together. He's been doing the music and I've been singing. And that's how I evolved, actually. Mm -hmm. And how did it change for you moving from, you know, focusing on acting to singing? Was it difficult? It wasn't difficult. The thing, it's all about time management. I have to find time for rehearsals and acting and, and like video shoots and all that. And then I have to have my own time for um, focusing on my vocals and improving the singing and choosing the songs that we want to perform. Uh, of course, singing in the studio is different than singing live. So it's all about time management. So how did Mohammed convince you to take singing, you know, more seriously and go for it as a career? He was he was pushing me too hard and he said like it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone and just do it. And exactly. that's when I got convinced. Yeah. Exactly. I'm dying to listen to you guys. So why don't we start with something? Sure. What are you going to sing for us tonight? Yeah, it's a cover song. It's uh, just the two of us. It's a classic song by uh, Grover Washington and we've got to perform it right now. Beautiful. I can't wait. Thank yeah. you. Let's go. Yeah, let's, yeah, go. let's do that. The crystal raindrops fall And the beauty of it all Is when the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometimes And I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us you and I Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I We look for love no 
time for tears Waste the water, all that is And it don't make no flowers grow Good things might come to those who wait Not for those who wait too late We gotta go for all we know Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us You and I Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I Make it if we try Just the two of us You and I Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I Thank you. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm amazed. Wow, so Nezra. Much. Thank you very that was much. amazing. I'm actually jealous of the crew where they were, you know, dancing with the song. Oh, and I was okay. Like, here. <laughs> I'm like, I want to move. Oh, I'm glad they're having a good time. Um, um, I'm Hamid. I, I lost all my questions because I was amazed by your voice oh, and okay. also the talent, Thank guys. You. It's Thank really amazing. So I was gonna ask you, Hamid, why Nejma, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> you Maybe it. you want to tell me why Nejma. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, to be honest, I was mesmerized by. It. Her beautiful voice when I saw Absolutely. her back back in the Absolutely. in the yeah in the theater, but I thought that you know I I I'm I, she's out of my league. <laughs> 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 but you know, uh, as soon as she asked that question on the Snapchat, I was the first guy like I want to do this. <laughs> Let me do that. So yeah, we got along. Yeah, and, and you can see the beautiful You guys are doing a great with job yeah. with Mohammed, and I want to know: Are there any challenges you're facing as a band? At the time being, yeah, the challenges are like there. Are, there are big steps that we're trying to to reach, but the main challenge for I, I think it's for every artist or like every musician, is the consistency of of, of the work that mm -hmm. or, or whatever talent you have to show to the people, mm -hmm. and then yeah. to be noticed by by the people that they you know that they the appreciate audience. the talent that you have, and you know just like take take your hand and. Guide get you, you yeah, yeah. Guide, guide you through. Yeah. That's, but that's I mean, social challenge. media now is helping you, you know, promote your talents in the way you want it. So yes. you're, you don't need to wait for recognition. Yes. You can just go out there and do our thing. Yeah. Do your thing. Yes. And now, of course, we move to Mohamed Lamer, the guy behind forming Solo Band. Tell me more about it. Uh, first, let me to tell you, I am so happy and I am so lucky to meet that couple. I met them before uh, one year. Mm -hmm. And, and you were I mesmerized by yeah. Najma's voice and Hamid's talent. Oh, really. Really, uh, Najma, she has a very strong voice. And I believe her talent. Of course. And Muhammad, he's a professional mm -hmm. musician. Very talented. Really. And uh, he's a guitarist, very good guitarist, and very good in the keyboard also. Mm -hmm. And very good in the drums. And he's a very good singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are hyper. And you're also a very great uh, guitarist. I mean, uh, the, 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 what you just I'm played was uh, amazing. I wish I had... Uh, we do I our <laughs> best. We do our yes. best. To yes. He's and of talented. course, I wish you guys all the best. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what are the future mm -hmm. plans for the band? Uh, to get more crazy. <laughs> <laughs> produce more uh, crazy yeah, work. Yeah. Produce more crazy work. Because, you know, we just like... We, we got together because of the craziness. He's, he's a crazy, crazy guitarist. And uh, she, she has a crazy, you know, ideas, crazy ideas. ideas. Yes. But, you know, and that's what's going to make you, you know, stand out and be Unique. different. Like True. you're not repeating the ideas. True. Yeah. True. That's why we tried, we tried, we tried many, many things. And we're still trying many things, you know, like singing in Indy, uh, Indian, singing in Sri Lankan. Amazing. Now, oh, yes. Amazing. Now, yeah. <laughs> we're, try, we're trying our best to do different languages. Know, different languages. Mm. 
But the main thing is uh, we're trying to get our music outside there. So thank you for giving us the chance to be there. Thank you for being here. And, you know, um, we really are enjoying um, this you. music. And we, we definitely have to listen to another song course, now definitely. before we move, okay. of course, to Rim Haji to see what she did with the model. Now, this is a very popular song. So. Yeah. is waking outside my window bella ciao bella ciao bella ciao 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 drags my senses into the sunlight for there are things that i must do wish me luck now i have to leave you bella ciao bella ciao bella ciao 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 with my friends now up to the city we're gonna shake the gates of hell with my friends now up to the city we're gonna shake the gates of hell <laughs> wow amazing that was absolutely thank amazing thank you very you much. have a beautiful voice and i'm really it. happy that we had you on the show as our first band for the oh, season. Yeah. Thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm sure you'll be marking the map for music. And I hope to see you international and beyond all of the boundaries. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. We'll we be appreciate back, it. of course. Thank you. We are not done yet. Let's go check what Reem is up to. Welcome back. We're back here with Reem and the beautiful model. Yes. I see you've done amazing stuff. Tell me more about this look. Thank you. Well, this look is inspired by the galaxy, mm -hmm. and I really love the galaxy. Like, of course. When you're going to imagine stuff, all you can think of is the galaxy. Definitely. And galaxy chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how hard is it to actually do this look? How long does a normal person need to accomplish this look for Halloween? Well, maybe one hour. But this look is so easy, anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have a, a makeup background, let's say. Mm -hmm. But it's very easy. You just you know, splash colors all over your face. And what are the products do you mainly use to, you know, have such a look? Well, mostly all you need is colored eyeshadows and colored face paints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love the hair as well. Can you tell me more about it? Oh yeah, well the hair is amazing because it's done by my very, very best hairstylist, Fatma al mm -hmm. She does many, many wonderful hairstyles and I love her. It's just amazing. I just keep on thinking how it's not falling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's a professional. And I love the look. Of course, we're here at the final touches now. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure the viewers are going to be inspired by this look. And the colors, I mean, they go well with the studio. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. So tell me more about what you're doing now. Just final touches. Yeah. Basically, I'm just adding a bit of stars mm -hmm. by the white face paint. Mm -hmm. But mostly, I just used eyeshadows. I just combined colored eyeshadows with this look. That's, that's really beautiful. And yeah. I'm sure um, the guys in the gallery, they're taking a close look <laughs> and showing the viewers what's happening here. Yeah. Can you close your eyes just so they can see the colors? And can you take a full shot of the hair as well? I mean, the whole look is beautiful. Thank you. And Usha did a great job. Oh, yes, she did. <laughs> By giving us yes. her beautiful face. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're almost done. Almost. Yeah. I just need the glue to dry up. So can you do this on a budget? Or do I need, like, expensive makeup and very no. sophisticated uh, products? You really don't need any expensive makeup. Okay. Like for this look, you can just use a Morphe eyeshadow palette, okay. which is around 10 BD, 7 BD, I don't know, but like you don't need that much of money. Mm -hmm. You can just use any cheap eyeshadow that you have and you smudge it with your finger. Okay. And then smudge it on your I'm face. I'm going to try this, but if it goes bad, I'm going to call you. 
short <laughs> yeah, to come Don't and me. to come and fix it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How do you feel, Anusha? Amazing. Amazing. Do you feel like you're in the galaxy now? <laughs> you're part of the galaxy. You gotta feel like a queen because yeah. you're the queen of galaxy right yes. now. <laughs> All right, perfect. Yep. All right, thank you so much, Reem Haji, the amazing makeup artist <laughs> this is b a beautiful Delicious. look and i'm sure a lot of our viewers are gonna try to do this at home i hope yeah, yeah one of them is me <laughs> oh thank you well, so pleasure. much thank you thank you viewers i'm sad to say that we have come to end of our lovely episode hope you guys had enjoyed watching today's beautiful and inspiring episode and enjoyed yourselves and finally don't forget to leave your inquiries and suggestions at the email address and social media mentioned on the screen. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you, of course, with our lovely band, solo band. Goodbye. So smoke him if you got him cause it's going down All I ever wanted was you I'll never get to heaven cause I don't know how Let's raise a glass or two To all the things I lost on you I've lost on you, is that lost on you?